this morning. Let's get you all the updates that have come in on Mehul Choksi's deportation case. The hearing happened yesterday in a Dominican court but was adjourned and will resume today at 6.30 according to Indian Standard Time. This after the arguments in the case concluded yesterday. That was the first day of the hearing. And during the hearing, the Indian government argued that Choksi is still an Indian citizen and hence should be deported to India. We've argued that his passport and his surrendering of the passport was not officiated and that he's a wanted criminal since January 2018. But what came as a setback to Choksi was that the Dominican government also argued in favor of his deportation to India, saying that his plea must be dismissed. There was high drama that was witnessed in the court as Choksi didn't appear personally. He appeared on Zoom from the hospital, saying that he's feeling unsafe in Dominica. He also said that he's ready to pay for his return to Antigua. Let me take this across now to Geeta Mohan for more details. Geeta, good morning. Just sum up for us what really happened in the hearing so far. It's been adjourned. We'll continue this evening. Well, uh, a very important uh, hearing that is going to continue, like rightly pointed out, Akshita, uh, today as well. But yesterday, the two things that happened. One is that on the release corpus petition, uh, the hearing continues today. But uh, the court also ordered that uh, because there was violation and he was not produced within uh, 48 hours of having landed and uh, being in uh, police custody, uh, that Mehul uh, Choksi uh, present himself physically at a lower court and that uh, the illegal entry charge be read out to him, which is what happened yesterday. He was then, after having attended uh, the proceedings at the high court via Zoom, he physically went to the lower court and presented himself where the charges were read out to him of illegal entry into Dominica. That's a bigger question that uh, the, that uh, Mehul Chokshi would, would be fighting. He has already told the court yesterday that he did not come out of his own volition. Uh, but uh, what we're looking at is the larger case of uh, what uh, the uh, representatives of the Dominican government uh, and India's request uh, that India has put to the Dominican government it would be paid these two or not. Uh, the Antiguan authorities have also said that he would be deported to India. Dominican uh, government is also insisting that he be deported to India with the kind of papers, uh, documents that have been provided by the Indian authorities to Dominica as well. Uh, but it is for the courts now to decide, given that Mehul Choksi, on paper, with the revocation of citizenship letter of uh, Prime Minister Jackson Brown, proves that he indeed is Antigen, is a part of the CARICOM uh, nation. And therefore, right. uh, the Dominican uh, courts will have to decide whether if he should be repatriated to Antigua or, or then deported to India. All right, Geeta, thank you for joining us with all those details. Now, there are two cases that Choksi is fighting right now in Dominica. One is with regards to his deportation. The other is on his illegal entry into Dominica. And in that, Choksi has suffered a huge setback because the court denied him bail. Choksi appeared before the magistrate in a wheelchair. As you see on your screens there, he's wearing a blue T-shirt, black shorts, and he was wheeled in to answer charges of his illegal entry into the Caribbean island. Choksi, in court, decided to plead not guilty to the charges. His lawyer also argued that he's unwell and hence should be granted bail. But his argument did not cut any eyes. The magistrate refused to give him any relief. Choksi is in custody. However, he's in a hospital right now under heavy police security. The next hearing in the matter will take place on 14 June. So till then, Choksi will remain in custody. His lawyer again alleged that he was abducted from Jolly Harbour in Antigua and then brought to Dominica on a boat. Choksi's lawyer had earlier claimed that a mystery woman had lured and honey-trapped Choksi and brought him to Dominica. And for all the latest updates on that story,